Saudi Arabia's ambitious project, The Line, promised a revolutionary urban living experience. But recent reports suggest it's being scaled back. What's happening with The Line? Welcome to our channel, where we explore the latest in innovative projects and groundbreaking developments. In today's video, we'll dive into the current status of The Line and what the future holds for this ambitious project. The Line was envisioned as a 170-kilometer-long linear city, a core part of Saudi Arabia's NEOM project. Imagine a city with no cars or streets, running entirely on renewable energy, and designed to house 1.5 million residents by 2030. This ambitious plan was aimed at creating a sustainable, high-tech urban environment unlike anything the world has seen before. The line was to be a marvel of modern engineering and urban planning, integrating smart technologies and sustainable practices to create a self-sufficient urban space. However, recent updates have revealed that the line is being significantly scaled back. The revised plan now aims for just 2.4 kilometers of development by 2030, with a target population of 300,000 residents. This dramatic reduction in scope has left many wondering about the future of this once grand vision. The initial vision included expansive living spaces, green energy solutions, and cutting-edge infrastructure, but these elements have been reconsidered due to financial and logistical constraints. The scaling back means that many of the futuristic features might be delayed or redesigned to fit a more practical implementation. So what led to this significant downscaling? There are several key factors. Firstly, financial constraints have played a major role. The Public Investment Fund, which finances NEOM, has yet to approve the 2024 budget, leading to financial uncertainty. Additionally, Logistical challenges and the immense complexity of the project have contributed to the need for scaling back. Financial constraints are not just about the lack of funds, but also about prioritizing different aspects of the project. The sheer scale of the line required unprecedented investment, and with fluctuating oil prices and global economic uncertainties, the Saudi government had to make tough decisions. Logistical challenges have also been significant. Building a 170-kilometer linear city in a desert environment presents unique difficulties, from sourcing materials to ensuring sustainable water and energy supplies. Environmental concerns and the need for sustainable development practices have further complicated the project. Moreover, the technological innovations required for the line, such as AI-driven infrastructure and fully autonomous transportation systems, are still in developmental stages. Ensuring these technologies are safe and reliable before full-scale implementation is another reason for the project scaling back. The decision to scale back has sparked various reactions. Experts in urban planning and sustainable development have mixed opinions. Some see the downscaling as a necessary adjustment to make the project more feasible, while others are skeptical about the overall viability of the line. Public reactions are equally divided, with some people expressing disappointment and others supporting the pragmatic approach. According to urban planners, the original vision was groundbreaking, but perhaps overly ambitious. Scaling back to a more manageable scope could ensure the project's long-term success. On the other hand, critics argue that reducing the project's size undermines its innovative spirit and question whether it will still achieve its goals of sustainability and smart living. Public sentiment is similarly varied. Some residents and potential investors see the scaling back as a loss of potential, while others believe it reflects a more realistic approach. The dialogue continues as the project evolves, with many keeping a close eye on its progress. Despite these setbacks, the line project is still moving forward, albeit on a smaller scale. The first phase of NEOM, called Sindala, is set to open soon, focusing on creating a luxurious resort destination. Sindala will feature high-end hospitality services, pristine beaches, and exclusive recreational facilities, aiming to attract tourists and investors alike. This step indicates that while the line may not reach its original vision, the broader NEOM project still aims to be a hub for innovation and tourism. Future phases will likely incorporate lessons learned from the initial phase, focusing on creating a sustainable and technologically advanced urban environment. The scaled-back approach allows for more careful planning and phased implementation, which could ultimately lead to a more successful and sustainable project. 
The line scaling back reflects the challenges of realizing such an ambitious vision. Its future now depends on overcoming financial and logistical hurdles. While the project has been significantly reduced, it remains a fascinating experiment in urban planning and sustainability. The journey of the line from a grand vision to a more modest, achievable project offers valuable insights into the complexities of modern urban development. As the project progresses, it will be crucial to balance ambition with practicality. The lessons learned from the line could pave the way for future innovative projects worldwide, serving as a benchmark for sustainable urban living. What do you think about the changes to the line? Do you believe it can still achieve its goals, even on a smaller scale? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest in groundbreaking projects, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Your engagement helps us bring you more content on the world's most innovative developments. Thanks for watching.